Hey, what's up guys, Dark Tracker here. In today's video, we're gonna play Aurelia in the jungle, the new skin, Divine Sword Aurelia. And as you guys can see on this, yeah, this account is Grandmaster and we're actually in a full Grandmaster lobby. And we have to play Aurelia against Camille, so that's gonna be interesting. I would say Aurelia is... I feel like most people consider like S tier both in top lane and mid lane. But in today's video, I'm gonna explain to you guys how you can play Aurelia in the jungle and how strong she can be in the jungle. We're gonna go for the standard build, which is gonna uh, which is gonna be um, Blade of the Rune King, Death Dance, Sterox Gauge, Guardian Angel, and then for the last item, maybe Wits End, maybe. Any tanky item, rending to omen or magic resistance, depending on what you guys need. For the runes, we have I think we have Conqueror Brutal, uh, Hunter's Titan, Pathfinder. And for the skill order, you guys want to start with the first ability, you want to max the first ability. And this guy was the whole time so close, I was like, ah, there's an F20 to smite. But anyways, you max your first ability, then you max your third ability, and then lastly the second ability. And you start with the first ability, then third, and then you can go for another point into the first ability or another point um, into the second ability. Actually, I'm gonna try a 4 cam. I'm not sure if it's working. Um, since I got a pretty big leash, I think it might work to go for 4 cam. But if you guys don't get a big leash, then definitely just go for 3 cam, which would be red, raptors, blue buff. Or if you guys want to go for full red clear, you can also go for red, raptors, um, scuttle. Red, raptors, crux scuttle, my bad. Okay, smite difference. Let's time it correctly, boom. And we got the reset, he fucked up. Instead of using the smite, he pressed flash. So he fucked up and he can't escape anymore. Maybe he has the third ability, but we do get the first blood. Ari missed her charm, but it doesn't matter. Let's see. Malfoy really low. She gets the kill really nice. Very good start so far. And yeah, if you guys want to learn Aurelia, I have definitely made a few guides for her. Both in the top lane as well as in the jungle. But the main thing you guys need to know is that you can mark the opponent with the third and your ultimate and whenever you proc a mark onto someone you can use the first ability dash onto that opponent and thanks to the mark you can dash again i don't think the second ability applies to mark so it's just the third ability and the ultimate you're gonna get that one let's chase this guy use ultimate he actually flashed out of my ultimate that's good reaction by him Maybe we're gonna be able to get the fresh kill. Yes, we do. Let's go. They are very low though, so let's see if I can dive here. I stun this Ezreal. I get the kill on Ezreal. I'm really low life right now. So the main combo, um, the basic, the basic standard combo would be you set up your third ability behind you. You dash onto the opponent and right when you're on top of them, you activate your third ability again so you can stun them. So you need to connect both of the third abilities to stun them in between in that line. And for your main combo you can use for example ultimate. Uh, set, set up your third ability. You, then you dash on top of them. Thanks to the ultimate they will get one mark so you can dash again. And then you can use your third ability to get another mark and they're gonna get stunned and then you can dash once more. So you can basically dash three times onto the same person if you use the co a full combo. You can also combine your ultimate with flash to gap close or should I say uh, hit them with the ultimate from max range and they're getting slowed thanks to the ultimate. Then you set up your third ability and then you're just gonna dash on them. You can also combine your first ability with the flash, it would be S1 flash. Uh, you need to lock your target onto the opponent and then you can just S1 flash on top of them, like with the input trigger. Okay, they have a ward, so... Might as well just go for the Rift Parrot right here. Looks 
think they're gonna trade. And I think whenever you kill a minion, you can get one stack. I think it was like that. Whenever you kill a minion, you get one stack. And at max stacks, you will get a bonus magic resistance. Nice. Ultimate boom, he dies. Let's chase. Oh, nice jump. I replay pretty well. Let's see if I can go for that guy. Try to stun him, he flashes out though. So he's gonna end up surviving, but it's okay. We got the dragon, we got a bunch of kills on top of that. The jump, the kill secure. And do we need to use... I think I might be able to just use Herald to secure the mid turret. And might even be the first turret of the game. I don't know if the bot lane might get the kill. The first kill. Actually bot got it. So in the end we got three tur uh, two turrets. Bot and mid, so that's pretty good. Let's see if I can invade and steal the enemy record right here. Nice. I think we might be able to die if we just go for the turret. Never mind. Twisted Fate ultimate is coming. Malphite might have his ultimate. So we should just back up right here. I have a lot of gold. I can get the Blade of the Rune King. Or do I already have it? I almost have my ultimate. It's done. Nice knock up. And now boom. Ultimate on top of them. He gets slowed and we're gonna get the double kill right here. Maybe we're gonna show it to you in slow motion so you guys can see it again. Actually very good knock up by the ribbon so I'm gonna jump onto the minion to set up some stacks right here. And then I get the double stun in combination with the ribbon. So once they're marked I can get one additional jump on them and we get the double kill right there. There was pretty good synergy by ribbon and me. Um, Ribbon gets the knock up and then I CC chain with my stun and then I just press the ultimate on top when it came up and we secure the double kill. And also get the tier 1 turret. Like, I, I think in solo queue especially Ribbon is super strong just, just as Irelia. Like they are both super good as flex picks. You can go Riven top lane, you can go Riven jungler, you can go Riven mid lane. And same applies for Aurelia, which is a high skill ceiling champion. So you need to practice this champion a lot to master her. Like easily more than 100 games to get to a decent level. And they actually surrender already. We hard stomped this one. Maybe this is too, <laughs> too easy, but I feel like I showed you guys most of the stuff you guys need to know about Aurelia and we also wanted to showcase the new Aurelia skin so overall pretty solid to be honest so if you guys enjoyed this gameplay wait let's see the damage maybe damage oh, okay i'm not showing the damage that's bad man but anyways if you guys enjoyed this gameplay even though it was kind of short then definitely leave a like subscribe check out the guide i've made for uh, for Aurelia in the past i might link it here in the um, outro and yeah, see you next time. Bye bye. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush.